Hey guys, it's Chica and welcome back. I wanted to share with you just one more Halloween inspired treat, so let's get started. I like to begin with all of my bases first, so here I'm starting out with some dark blue fondant and some midnight blue fondant. And I'm just gonna take these two and roll them out into snakes. And now I'm just going to twist them and roll them and crunch them up. And using my fondant rolling pin, I'm gonna roll this out nice and flat. And using a round cutter, I'm just gonna cut out a couple of these. I'm also gonna do the same for my murky white fondant. And just like I did with the first couple of bases, I'm gonna take three different colors and roll them into a snake, twist them up and crunch them all together. And then I'm gonna place them on my wooden silicone textures mat and I'm just going to roll it with my rolling pin and cut that out as well. For these Pennywise inspired cupcakes, I'm gonna begin with a little bit of burgundy fondant and I'm going to roll this out kind of thin. You don't want it too thin, but you don't want it too thick either. So this is about perfect. Now I'm gonna take a round cutter and I'm just going to cut out a nice size circle. And then I'm just gonna take that same cutter and I'm going to cut off a little crescent moon. And that will give you the beginnings of a balloon shape. Now with my fingers, I'm just gonna smooth out the corners to make everything look nice and round. And then with my baller tool, I'm just going to hit up one of these corners to kind of stretch it out to look like a balloon. I'm gonna take one of these gray and white bases and I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. And then I'm just gonna add on my balloon. And using a edible marker, I'm just gonna draw on the string. Now we're gonna work on the SS Georgie. So I'm taking a little gray fondant and I'm rolling it just a little flat, not too much. And then I'm going to cut off some of these edges to make this into a triangle. Then I'm gonna take another ball of that gray fondant and just like I did with my cauldron in my Harry Potter video, I am just going to take my balling tool and kind of smish it in the middle to hollow it out a little bit, but I'm also going to take that balling tool and I'm gonna drag it in a line to make it kind of look like a shell. This is going to begin the bottom portion of our boat. I'm just gonna smash this around to give it some angles and there we have a boat. Then I'm gonna take that triangle and I'm gonna place it right inside. I'm gonna take this boat and I'm gonna place it onto that deep blue base that we made earlier. And then using a little white food coloring, I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna add some water strokes. Now we're going to work on, a, I hope his name is Georgie. We're gonna work on the dude in the raincoat. So I'm starting with some yellow fondant and I actually just kind of eyeballed this from a picture of um, the movie, but you can definitely trace this using your own piece of paper, like just print it out and trace it. Now I'm just gonna take this little fondant tool right here and I'm gonna add some stitch marks on top of my raincoat. And then I'm gonna take some teeny balls of fondant and add some buttons. So I've already placed this raincoat on a deep blue background and now I am using the Lolita app and some black fondant to make a little silhouette face and I am just going to attach it right onto the side of my raincoat. And now it's time to bring in our clown. So I am just gonna take some white fondant, I'm gonna roll it out pretty thin. And then using my exacto knife, I'm gonna cut this into some strips. And then using the end of my paintbrush, I am just going to make this like sort of like how I did the sorting hat. I'm gonna thin it out a lot. Then I'm gonna drape this over that wooden background and I'm just gonna do this in about three layers. You don't have to do too much unless you want to. And 
And then I'm going to take the tiniest rectangle of fondant. I'm going to use my fondant tool and I'm going to add about three grooves into this fondant. Then I'm going to add some lines going behind those grooves. And then I'm going to make some more like little rounded areas going behind these lines for my clown's closed fist for his balloon. And then using the Lolita app again, I am going to trace out my little clown face as well as draw on all of his features. And now I'm just going to glue everything together. You've already seen how I made a balloon. So I just made a half balloon here and I'm adding a string this time out of fondant. And I'm just going to attach the little fist. I'm going to take that little face that I made earlier and I'm just gonna add it on. Like I said, I used a little lead app for this. And then I also added some little teeth because he just wouldn't be Pennywise without his buck teeth. And that is all you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoy these Pennywise inspired cupcakes and I'll catch you in the next one.